Oh, this is this is gonna hurt. This is ah oh, ah oh, ah. Oh. All right, I, I that was a really bad idea. <laughs>What's going on guys? Dragast here and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besiege Creation. Starting off, we got a very big gun here. This is a revolver rifle and I, what I thought was so cool about this is you actually need to reload the revolver. You actually need to load it up right at, at the start and I think it's adorable that they are cannons that you actually load up. So we have seen some large-scale guns in this game before, some realistic guns, but never something where we actually have to reload it. And, uh, looks like it's got six shells inside of it, or six cannons, rather. So let's try and load this thing up and see what happens. So first of all, we open up the chamber, lock that in place. That looks like it's pretty good to go in. So now we push it in, and then we're also supposed to let go of the cannons by doing... Ooh, I guess that. There we go. So now it's locked and loaded, and, uh, we got this little arm stuck to it. So we're gonna let go of the cannons here, there we go, they are all loaded up and ready to go. It looks like one of the cannons did come out a little bit, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Nope. Oh, shit! Okay, I guess that was a problem. So I think what happened there, oh my god, is, uh, well, first of all, we definitely broke the rifle. Uh, but I think the fireball hit that cannon that was protruding out a little bit and it shot off prematurely. So that kind of sucks. Let's try that again, and hopefully it goes a little bit better this time. Uh, you know, loading guns in Besiege is definitely a dangerous uh, pastime, I guess you could say. Uh, this never works out right the first time. So there we go. We'll load it up, uh, let go of them, and bam, now it's good to go. All right, so we're going to let go of that, drop this down. Oh, okay, that time... Shit! Okay, so it auto... Sh Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Got a little bit of a fire here this time. <laughs> All right, it's actually kind of beautiful because we needed to use this in weightlessness and as you can see it is slowly kind of ripping apart So it's been a while since we've done weightlessness. All right third times the charm. Let's try this again here All right, so I decided to turn invincibility on sometimes these uh, more unstable creations kind of need it So we'll try it once again here. I'm feeling good about it this time I feel like invincibility is definitely needed with this one. So left to push it in there We go make sure it's all the way in Pull that out, drop that down. It's going to shoot the, shoot the first one automatically, unfortunately, but as you can see, a lot more stable now. So it's all about doing this quickly. Uh, now we can get rid of this thing, so we'll throw it away and make sure it's all aimed up. Looks like that's basically a direct hit there. And let's see if we can get kind of like a good shot going on where you can see the barrel action as well as the cannon shooting. So we'll slow this down and I think... Hopefully it should work this time. So we got the cannons loaded up. They're obviously going to heat up the back, which will shoot out the cannonball. So it's basically a cannon shooter. It's actually a really interesting design. So we'll put it over to the next spot here. There we go. It's ready. And BAM! <laughs> oh, that was a good shot too. So it's as easy as that once you get it set up. I guess we went one too far there. Uh, held it for a little bit too long. My bad. But uh, yeah, it actually works quite well. I don't think that one shot. But... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was in the chamber there. Uh, so you do need to kind of line it up and you kind of need to get lucky. I don't know why that one didn't go. Did we already go through them all? I think we did, but we did miss one. I know that. So let's see if we can find it. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I almost broke the gun. Oh, God. I don't know what's going on in there. I think... Whoa! Okay, so there's an extra cannonball. Holy shit, the cannon's coming out right now. All right, let's go before the world implodes and check uh, what the damage was. So... Oh, that's so cool. I was I, For a second there, I forgot we were in weightlessness. I was like, what the fuck is going on? But yes, I would say if uh, weightlessness wasn't on, that would have been destroyed. So that's really cool. I almost, I kind of want to destroy this now in weightlessness. It's been a while. All right, but this was the revolver rifle. It almost looks like it's got a CSGO skin on it now. That's that's actually kind of cool looking. Yeah, not the easiest thing to set up, but when you do, uh, it's just a really cool and well thought out gun. The only thing this needs is some sort of aiming mechanism down here so we can actually aim it up because it does have a really good crosshair as well that would probably work uh, quite well. But yeah, moving on, we got some more creations for us to check out. And gonna be honest with this one, I have no friggin' idea what it is. I don't think the developer knows what it is. This is actually made by a Chinese creator, so uh, yeah, there's not much explanation on what the heck it is. But I know it flies, that's about it. So yeah, this is uh, kind of like a quadcopter, or I guess you could say octocopter uh, in this regard. So let's try and take this thing off. And, 
Oh, that looks so cool. There's nothing like this I've seen in this game. Uh, now, you're supposed to actually be able to make it perfectly stable in air. So, yeah, it's actually... It's extremely stable, so let's see if we can drive this around a little bit. Uh, so basically, it's got up, down, left, and right from what I'm getting at. Uh, not very good at flying it just yet. Give me- oh god, no, that's the wrong button. Wrong button! Oh god! Oh, that's not good. Oh god, we got stuck. And- <laughs> and That's what happens when you use invincibility. But for the record, the reason why we're on invincibility, this is actually- Let's do this in slow motion, because even this is cool. Uh, it's a little- <laughs> it's a little too fast. It actually explodes itself and pieces start ripping off everywhere. So, uh, looks pretty cool, but obviously it won't work. All right, I think I got a better understanding on how it works now. So you're supposed to make it neutrally buoyant. Uh, that looks good to me. And then you're actually supposed to use the arrow keys. And as you can see, it actually, the way this thing moves, which is amazing, it utilizes the weight of the cannons at least this is my assumption here. It looks like it's definitely the case. Let's raise it up a bit so we don't crash it. But basically, it's just pushing these cannons forward. That's obviously pushing the weight forward on the craft, and it's moving forward. Now, uh, I'm assuming uh, you can get really good at flying this thing, but it's very easy to get it unstable here. So I'm going to let it just stable itself, and we can try out some of these guns. Okay, I don't think it... You know what? I'm going to try and... Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm getting dizzy. Okay, it's very hard. When it comes to these creations where there's no front... It's very hard to understand where the front is, so I'm just going to try and combat uh, its maneuvering here. Basically, I'm pushing the weight in the opposite way that it's rotating. It doesn't seem to be helping too much, though, gotta be honest here. So I think this one is very minute movements, or you get into this issue where you're just kind of rocking back and forth, and I don't know how to stop it. All right, well, flying it is not the easiest, but uh, when you do get it stable, it's actually remarkable to just sit here and hover in space. It looks so weird. Uh, and I really like the the way it, this thing moves forward. Now, obviously, this thing has cannons on it, so it does shoot those as well. Uh, aside from that, really doesn't do anything else, so it's just a kind of a weaponized octocopter, I guess you could say, uh, with one of the most interesting flight mechanisms that I've seen. Uh, but yeah, I really love this design. Let's see if we can get it going a little faster this time. And I'll utilize the buoyancy of it to uh, push it forward even more. All right, there we go. Now we're pushing it up. Uh, the problem is I need to push it upwards to push it even faster forwards. And obviously, I'm just going to be going up in the air. But you get the idea. It does work. It's pretty damn interesting. Uh, now it seems actually a hell of a lot more stable, too. So I don't know what happened to me in the first run here. Uh, but this run is working a hell of a lot better. Now, I don't think there's any way to land this thing, but I wonder if we press this... Oh, no, we can't press the O button again, but we can do that! And that drops it down on the ground, but there's no way to turn off the engines, unfortunately. So yeah, this is the... Well, I have no idea what this thing is, but it's cool. So, uh, yeah, let's move on and check out some more stuff. All right, and we got a creepy, slithery snake. Now, the th cool thing about this one, we've seen a lot of snake creations before, is this one automatically slithers. I don't know how it does it, uh, but basically I press one button forward and it does this slither pattern just like a real snake. Now, if I turn, for example, right, is it actually... Oh, wow, it actually does turn right. That is so cool. And it keeps with its slither pattern, so it's very realistic to the real thing, obviously. Uh, looks quite realistic as well in uh, Besiege standards. Now, uh, yeah, it's just a basic snake, but it's also got flame breath, of course, as well. You gotta love that. All right, I'm actually really curious how this thing works, how it always keeps to a slither. So we're going to uh, go under the hood here and just check out what's going on. So if you don't know, you can disable skins in Besiege. And now you can see kind of how this thing works. So it's got some swivel joints attached together, a lot of swivel joints attached together with some little wheels on them, and that is really it. I guess it's that simple, guys, to make a slithering snake. Uh, there might be some modding in these wheels or parameter changing in the wheels, I don't know. Uh, but aside from that, you know, it works just like before, except without the skin. Uh, looks a lot less snake-like now, I guess you could say. It's kind of adorable, though. We still got, of course, the flamethrower on the front, but, uh, yeah, I thought I would just quickly show you guys this snake, because I really like this slithering action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bar 9. This is my favorite off-roading vehicle in Besiege so far. The attention to detail on the suspension of this thing and how beefy this thing is just makes it a dream in the Gobi Desert modded track. It was actually designed with the Gobi Desert in mind, and it's also called the Desert Conqueror for good reason. We're gonna bomb it around right now, and you guys will quickly see why. Compared to other creations in Besiege, 
This thing can take a serious- Like, look at that! That- that would normally explode anything that I throw at it. But now it's just- This is so well done, and it's so fun with this crazy-ass terrain, uh, to drive this thing around. I mean, look at it! It still has not destroyed anything. I really, really wish I put on, um, grab objects, but I didn't, so we're just gonna have to reset it here. But, uh, yeah, it's just- When it comes to, like, off-roading terrain, not much was really good in Besiege up until now, and I think it's a lot has to do with because, um... All these new maps are coming out, these modded maps that are giving creators a chance to really try their vehicles in off-roading terrain, and it's working phenomenal. Like, look, oh, 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 this might kill it. Nope! Didn't fucking kill it. We are not in invincibility. Okay, that's gonna kill it, obviously. Uh, fell off the damn map. Oh, okay, never mind. Never fucking mind. <laughs> Is it seriously? Okay, I didn't realize there was ground down here. I thought it was basically endless, but it just fell 200, probably at, at least 200 feet, and it's totally freaking fine down here. How? I don't freaking know, because everything in Besiege is so damn... I almost want to say dainty, you know, you, you turn it wrong, the one wrong way and it's going to destroy itself. This thing... I mean, you can do jumps like this, and it's totally fine, and it just soaks up all of that rocky terrain with that buttery, beautiful suspension. It doesn't really do anything else, but uh, that's all this thing really needs to do, is drive over shit and kick some ass. Can I actually- HOW?! It just fucking- it bounced like a bouncy ball, and I wasn't able to destroy it. So can we destroy this thing? Let's see if we can do a hard enough jump to destroy this. Where- where- where are we gonna go? You know what, this looks good over here, it looks uh, nice and rocky. Uh, I hope we can get enough speed to do some serious air on it. Let's try! Uh, uh, oh, it's gonna be hard on the back end, but no, totally fine. <laughs> Alright, we need to get some good speed and really hit a jump bad. It's bad when you're trying to kill something so badly that you have to strategize, you know, bad landings just to see if you can do it. Uh, the problem is there's no real good runway here. It is a desert after all, so, uh, let's see, maybe here? Uh, nope, it's gonna do it totally- I mean, it fell 200 meters and it didn't destroy itself. Oh, shit, shit, shit! Okay, we're okay, we're totally fine, look at that, landed brain back on our feet. Oh my god, I, this is, this is amazing. I've never been able to not destroy something in Besiege. I think, I think we might have found a contender here, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's try this. Oh, oh, this has got to be good. Oh, yes! A wheel popped off! <laughs> that was fucking hard to do! Alright, I figured we'd run over a bomb and just see what happens here. Uh... Man, I'm just so impressed with this thing, so... Oh! <laughs> okay, I thought it was be okay, but I think the fire slowly deteriorated it. Mind you, for being... Again, we are not in invincibility. I feel like I have to showcase that, because it's so unbelievable. But, uh, yeah, that thing didn't destroy itself. The frame was totally intact. Uh, only thing that happened was it caught fire and then slowly deteriorated itself. I mean, look at this! I can drive around for a little bit until the fire, you know, starts to, uh, rot things, but my god, like, how amazing are these freaking creations gonna get in Besiege? Because this, this is, I, I, I was never this blown away by creations in Besiege up until very recently. I don't know what has happened, but, uh, I think, you know, the, the, the creators have really... Push the limits of this uh, sandbox and have done very well with it. I mean, I could just play with this for hours, and it's just as fun as something like BeamNG, where, you know, it's been developed for years to try and be a vehicle sandbox. Well, this thing's supposed to be a creative sandbox, and vehicles in it are amazing. So yeah, that is the Desert Conqueror, uh, for good reason, one of my most favorite off-roading vehicles. There we go, there's a little bit of damage to it finally, that was hard enough. I think I actually did destroy my front steering, so look at that. Actually, can we do an endo? Oh, look at it, it's just, it's got so much power in it too. Alright, I think I'm gonna save this one though, maybe we can have uh, an off-roading race or something later. Let's stick with the off-roading though, I got one more quickly to show you guys. This one, well, uh, it looks fucking badass, that's for sure. Oh, that's interesting. When I turn left, the wheels go backwards, so I think this one's got some weird stuff going on with it. But, uh, yes, obviously it's got some weird stuff going on with it. Look at it. It's a, is it a muscle car? Is it a dune buggy? Well, actually, the creator calls it a monster truck crawler race vehicle. It's four things in one, so I don't know if that means it's going to be good at any of them, uh, but we're gonna give it a real try here. I just really like the look of it. It looks like it's a, it's a absolute beast. So this one has three cameras. We got one on the middle. Ooh, man, this thing's shaking. That must be a big engine in it. You can see, uh, yeah, we got a back one. We got a tire one, of course, uh, as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the outside cameras. I don't really like the cameras too much in this game. Uh, let's just drive it around and see what happens here. So... 
The steering, I think it's using... Uh-oh. That, that, that's not a good sign. I think it's using the old-time steering, though. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be anything like the Desert Crusader. Mind you, it's still... Compared to a lot of the other ones I played with, this is actually working good as well. Uh, the problem is it's just so big and top-heavy because of how high it is. Uh, mind you, it is soaping up these bumps really well because of that crazy-ass suspension. Alright, but let's see if it can do a decent jump here. It's lost a few parts already, so I'm actually, I'm, I'm really impressed. It's holding up well. Uh, things, every time we do a jump, things fall off of it, and it's starting to lean to the left, but it's still working. It's still kicking, and it's still doing very, very well, actually. Alright, so is this the day of good off-roaders? What's going on here? I love how the back wheels, they've broken off each other, but they kind of just bend outwards now. It's not even kind of affected by it. Uh, so that's pretty hilarious. And the problem is I can't get enough speed now to really kind of destroy this thing. Oh, there we go. That, that's got to be bad for it. Yep, well, it's still good. I mean, I think the frame is still totally intact. It's fine. Uh, but yes, it did fall over after a while. Now, I actually forgot this thing's got a boost on it. I have no idea how good this boost is, so we'll try one more quick jump here with the boost on. There we go. We got our rockets going, and oh, it's really heavy compared to the other one. <laughs> and, okay, well, it didn't survive the boost test. Let's just say that. But yeah, this is just another awesome design. It's also got a firewall on it, not like your computer, like an actual firewall. So that's pretty cool as well. You can totally destroy everything in front of you, and it looks like yourself as well, because I just caught my damn tires on fire. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it for some off-roading vehicles today. You guys saw quite, a, well, a couple of uh, really awesome ones. Let's move on to something else. This next one is a uh, KNR motor glider, and uh, yeah, something we haven't really seen in Besiege before. Does the engine have one propeller on it? That's interesting. So, uh, yeah, it's a motor glider. I've never flown this before, so bear with me here. I'm just trying to get uh, the controls ready here. Oh, that's kind of cool. It just lifts up the front and uh, pushes it down for upwards and downwards drag. All right, I think I got it, though, so let's give this... Oh, God, I can't turn. I can't... I... Okay, well, that, that was a good run. This is why you, you know, try and learn things before you just fly them. And I just killed a sheep, too. Why, 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 why you gotta run into the fire, sheep? Are you really that suicidal? Lamb chops, anyone? Oh, I guess we can't have them because he got exploded. This one... Okay, that one exploded, too. <laughs> All right, so let's give this thing a little bit of runway by pushing... Oh, why is there a bounding box in the sandbox? It should be totally illegal. There's no point of a damn bounding box here. It's about having fun, so we're just going to bring this out here. That should be more than enough runway, I hope. So, uh, once again, actually, I think this has a first-person view. So we're just going to... Oh, yes, that's actually scary. I don't know if I really want to try that. You know what? We're, we're going we're to go with the outwards view for the first try here. Uh, just because I have no idea how to even fly this damn thing. Okay, so let's turn on that engine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was in reverse. Hold on, give me a second here. Oh man, I really suck at flying things, but okay, I think we got it now. Let's lift this sucker up and oh my god. Stig, what have you become, buddy? You are amazing. I mean, I'm sure you've been strapped for work since, you know, Top Gear got off the air, but uh it seems like you're doing pretty good for yourself right now, buddy. This is actually, I just want to say amazing to fly. <laughs> I can't believe that. It's only got one propeller. I've never seen anything with one propeller in this game. I'm actually, I think I'm confident enough with how easy this thing is to maneuver to land this thing. So, uh, I let, let's just put the engine in reverse again and, oh, 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 God, why? It's always a wheel. And why am I dramatizing this wheel by frigging following it? So, <laughs> he's backing up. You know what? Let's see if we can take off without the wheel. That, that should be fun. All right. I'm still going backwards. Okay. I really, I really got to get this engine figured out. There we go. Okay. So if I lift up, are we gonna get enough speed? No, I don't. I, I think I think that wheel's pretty important, guys. But the Stig's still intact, so that's that that's important as well. We didn't kill him at least. All right, let's try this again though. This was pretty fun. I love how he actually has controls that sit perfectly in his hands too. His hands unfortunately don't follow the controls, but I think that's still really cool. All right, we'll try first person as well. This is probably actually a lot easier in first person. I'm gonna try and uh, take out this statue. I might regret this. Oh, totally missed it. Okay, you know what? I guess we'll just go for the tower then. Oh, this is this is gonna hurt. This is ah oh, ah oh, ah. Oh. All right, I, I that was a really bad idea. Uh, oh, hey, look, I'm still flying. Okay. Oh my God, stick. Are you okay, buddy? I really wish I could pull off this rubble. I can see your pants. Uh, you still seem to be flying. I think you're definitely dead though. <laughs> 
All right, let's see if this thing can do tricks. Oh, we stalled it. We stalled it. Okay, I should have... Okay, I'm sorry, Stig. I'm... <laughs> I'm really sorry, Stig. I am not very good at this. Okay, we need, we need to get some speed first and go up a little bit higher, but I seriously think this thing can easily do a flip or at least a barrel roll. All right, look at this beautiful world. I actually, the speed of this is perfect because usually with how crazy creations are these days, they make them way too fast. This feels perfect for this size map, so I'm going to get some speed and hopefully we don't stall while trying. Oh, yeah, that was much better with the speed. So damn easy. You know what? Can we do? Can we do a barrel roll? I'm gonna lift up on it. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm stalling. I'm stalling. We're, we're going down. Come on, you can do it. Oh, shit. I fucked up. Ah, oh, but Stig's still good. Look at him. He, he, he is a committed flyer. All right. Well, that was the K&M Motor Glider. Another amazing flying creation. Uh, this is... This has been a pleasant episode. There hasn't been really anything that has went overly bad yet. Uh, I guess we had a little bit of problems with the gun, but aside from that, not too bad. All right, let's try one more time. I'm going to give it one more good chance to land this bad boy, uh, just because I, I need to perfectly land something in Besiege. There's got to be one day where we can successfully do this, and I feel like this is a good chance because it's really easy to fly. All right, coming in. I'm going to reverse my engine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Whoa, oh, oh. Ho! Ho! Oh, fuck! God damn it, wheel! Okay, I, I did come in a bit hot there. I'm actually amazed I didn't destroy more. Uh, there's just no, like, turn off gear. You either are putting the engine in reverse or forward, and I think that kind of uh, makes it a lot more difficult. And we can't end off without a fucking fidget spinner. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, okay, you can actually drive it around. That's great. Uh, but yes, everyone's favorite toy right now, evidently, is these things. And, uh, of course, one's gotta be added. Oh, God, I can't drive it while it's spinning. Uh, but one's gotta be added into Besiege. So, yeah, i gonna be honest here. I don't own a fidget spinner. I'm, I'm kind of curious about owning one because I do, I do tend to fidget. But this, this whole, like craze behind them i gotta be honest i don't i don't understand it i mean guys it's four bearings and a piece of plastic May, maybe i'm missing something here maybe it's there's some magic dust in it or something but it's four bearings and a plant and a piece of plastic or, or i'm just getting way too old and that's that's probably the case so you know what you guys enjoy your fidget spinners and i'll play with them in besiege but yes this one it does spin pretty damn quick it's pretty damn impressive i think you can also fly with this Oh, Jesus. Okay. Whoa, whoa, jeez. Oh, shit. Okay, I broke it. All right, but yes, you can... Holy shit. Okay, if, if real fidget spinners are like this, I, I can I can understand that why. That, uh, I can't even talk right now. Holy shit. I actually went through the, uh, the rock. I've never done that before, I don't think. So, yeah, this is, uh, is the fidget spinner. Oh, I really want to hit that tower now with it. Okay, come on. It's going to be very hard to aim this thing up. Oh, 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 that was amazing. Holy shit bags. Okay, well, I, what is that? I saw some, some shadow. Oh, it just fell to the ground, whatever it was. I uh, didn't expect, uh, did, did it explode? Is there like an explosion in it or something? I have no idea. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. I hope you guys have an amazing Friday. And as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Did I mention there's a fidget spinner tank, too? You can't make this shit up, man. Like, what the hell? <laughs>